How's it going everyone? It's Rolling Cajun here and I'm coming back with another video and this is going to be a quick video on how to do gems. What gems you should be working on, how you should be um, how you should be creating them, what's uh, top priority and all that other good stuff. So I picked on this, uh, this alt that I have because I have a bunch of silver on it and there's a couple different gems I can uh, create with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, first of all, you can see what gems you have. If you go here and you click on your equipment and you go to embed right here, you can uh, scroll through these and you can see what, what equipment you have and uh, whether or not they have a gem in them. Now, the first thing you should be doing is trying to fill each one of these slots with a level 40 blue gem. When you first create your uh, character, uh, wait till you just put the gems that you get as you're, uh, you're leveling up and all that into your gear. And don't worry about buying any gems until you get all your uh, level 40 plus gear. When you get to level 45 or so, you're going to be getting a lot of uh, drops from, from dungeons. It's going to be level 40 to level 45. And that's when you want to start buying the gems out of the, uh, the shop. And you want to start buying the level 40 ones. You go here and you open up the... Um, the little arrow here and you click on the shop and you go underneath metal store and this is where you're gonna buy your gems from they cost silver you'll have your attack gems is gonna be the first four and then the next four is gonna be the the defense gems the, the first defense gems then it's gonna be the magic defense or spell defense and then it's gonna be your HP gems and what you wanna buy as you uh, as you get start getting your uh, your gears, you want to buy these level 40 blue ones. You'll buy the uh, depending on if you're a magic class or your physical class. I'm a physical class on a pally right now, so I'm gonna be buying these red ones, which are the dragon eyes. And then if you're on a magical class, then you'll be buying the pink ones, which is spell damage instead of physical attack, as you can see here. So you'll buy these level 40s until all the other gear that you have are full of level blue 40s. Uh, you won't buy the blue uh, blue ones unless you're a tank. The tanks will be blind, buying these blue uh, these blue ones here. And then if you're a DPS, you'll be buying these green ones. You want the magic defense on if you're a DPS. You want to fill all your pieces up with magic defense. Now, once you get uh, get all the magic defenses, then you need to get all your stam ones. After every single one of your pieces of gear has a level 40 blue gear uh, a gem in it, then the next thing you want to do is you want to start working on diamond gems. You're going to be working on diamond gems and you're going to be working on epic level 40 gems. Uh, level uh, 20 diamonds. Let me go show you those real quick. So you talk to this elven jeweler here. And these level 20 diamond gems are what you're going to be creating. Now there's going to be the same colors as the one, the gems that you already have. So if you're uh, using the, uh, the red, the green, and the yellow gems, you're not going to be uh, crafting the yellow gems right now. So don't even worry about the yellow ones. The ones you're going to be after are these red ones and these green ones. If you're a tank, then you're going to be after the uh, blue ones. Uh, what I suggest is you create a an attack gem first or, or second. Well, what you want to do is you want to alternate. You want to do the uh, attack gem one, one time, and then you want to do a defense gem. Then you want to do an attack gem, then you want to do a defense gem. Uh, so you can kind of alternate your stats, and you're getting defense, and you're getting uh, an attack also. You don't want to just do all of one or all of the other, because then you'll be lacking one or the other, because it takes a little while to create these. Uh, each one of these uh, has a different uh, a, a bonus stat on them. If you look at all of them, they'll have physical attack 14 on every, all three of these, but the secondary stat will be different. This first one has physical crit. Depending on what, uh, what physical class you're playing and what path you're playing will depend on whether or not you need crit. So you'll have to research that if you, uh, if you need crit or not. And if you do need crit, then, you'll be, uh, then these are the ones that you'll uh, be trying to create. And then you also have these ones that have healing. Now the only class that's going to be using these red healing ones is going to be a pally if you're going to be a tank. A tank class, you're going to be healing yourself, you're going to have some off heals, and you're going to be doing damage too. So these right here are the ones you're going to be putting on a, uh, on a tank pally. But anyways, this is where you can buy them at if you have these um, these little diamond things. And I'm going to show you how to get those in case you need them. So first of all, let me show you how to create these. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up your shop. And you want to go, you want to buy the level 20 uh, gems. You want to, uh, you can only buy 24 of these at, what, at, at one time. And every day it adds a couple of gems that you can buy. So... It's going to be every two or three days before you can buy, actually buy 24 of these. you got a limit on how many you can buy a day. So the first thing you want to do is you want to buy the 24 of these. I already bought one earlier, so I'm going to buy the 23 that's here. 
And I'm lagging a little bit, so it's just going to take me a bit. I'm going to buy all 24 of those. And then I'm going to buy 48 of these green ones here. And you seen how much silver that took. I had over 30. 30,000 silver. 30 million, I mean. Now, once you have a stack of 48 greens and a stack of 24 blues, you click on it and you go here to polish. I'm going to polish my greens first. And when, you, when I polish these 48 uh, greens, it's going to give me six blues. Right here is the number uh, that it's going to give me of the blue ones. Now, I need 30 blue ones in order to uh, create five epics, which is going to make the diamond gem. There we go. Now I got 30 of the blues, and I'm going to polish these. And it's going to make five of these epics. And now that I have these five epics, I'm going to click it again, and I'm going to go to polish. And this right here is going to give you the option on what, what type of uh, gem that you want to create. When I was talking earlier about the heel ones for Pally, this is the one you're going to be uh, crafting on the right-hand side. This is only for Paladin uh, tanks. And uh, what's cool about this is you got a chance that you can craft a higher percentage than the jewels that I just showed you inside the NPC. They all come with 1.1%, but the problem is you have a chance that you can craft a lower percentage also. But you can craft up to a 2.5% uh, bonus on that secondary stat, which is pretty awesome. And it's OP if you can get one that, uh, to go to 2.5%. So we're going to craft this one on this left side because this is just a, uh, a pally tank. But I use it as a DPS because it's got a lot of survivability and it's good for auto attacks. And then you click on that. And then uh, you're going to need this other item that you're going to get from the uh, cash shop. You click on this item mall right here. And it's going to take you straight to it. I'm lagging a little bit. And it's called a gem grinder. And it costs almost 1 million uh, silver. You're going to buy that. Close this out. And then you're going to polish the gem. And it's going to create your, you're going to create your very first diamond gem. Let me give it a second. There we go. I just forged the diamond gem. And I got lucky. And I got physical crit 2.1%. That which is pretty awesome. A lot of times you'll craft like a 1% or maybe you'll do a 0.5% or you might do a, a 2.5. It could be a random number that you get here. Now, if you happen to get one that, that is below 1.1%, you just go here and hit the dismantle. Let me, let me see if I have one I could dismantle so I could just show it to you real quick. That one's 1 1.7. I don't want to dismantle that one. And it's the only one I have. Well, let me see if I have a green one. Yeah, all of these are 1.1. So, if you happen to get one that's lower than 1.1% right here, you can take it and dismantle it here. And it's going to give you this, uh, this, these sparkling diamond shards. And then you can just take these sparkling diamond shards and you can buy one that has the 1.1% on it, which will give you more percent than the one you just dismantled. Now, if you get over 1.1%, of course, you don't want to dismantle it because it's better than what you get in here. So make sure that if you get one that's lower than 1.1%, you dismantle it, and then you can come buy one here that has 1.1%, and at least you're getting that 1.1% from it. So I'm going to buy the one that's got the hit rating on it because I'm working on my hit rating on my character. I don't want the spell resist right now. And I'll go ahead and put that back on. And then the attack one I just created came with physical crit which I probably shouldn't even be using should be using the heal one on this one since this is uh, just a, uh, a survivability tune I just use it for auto attack and then you put it on and then there you go you got a diamond gem you just created so that's how you make diamond gems I don't need this 40 anymore so I'm gonna dismantle it now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to make the level 40 epic uh, HP gems. Now, these level these level 20 diamond gems are actually pretty decent, but they don't have enough HP on them. When you're first starting out and you're starting to get into the harder uh, raids and the harder dungeons, you need a lot of HP in order to survive the uh, boss AoEs. And these 
level 20 uh, HP gems do not have enough. So you don't want to create these HP gems. You want to create level 40 HP gems. And let me show you uh, if I have any. I do believe, yeah, see, I have these right here. I have 270 uh, HP on them. The one uh, diamond gem I just showed you had only 210. Now just imagine that extra 60 on all of these uh, HP gems here. There's 10 of them. That's a lot of different, a lot more HP that you're gonna have by creating those. So what you're gonna do is uh, the first time you go create something, you're gonna make a diamond gem. The second time you're gonna make a HP gem, then you're gonna make a diamond gem, and then you make a HP gem. And you want to alternate these all the way through it until you get uh, until you get all your uh, diamond gems to level 20, all of your HP gems to level 40 uh, epics, and then you're gonna start making 30 uh, level 30 diamond gems. And it, uh, when you make the level 30 diamond gems, what you're going to do is you're going to make a level 20 diamond gem. And then you're going to uh, you're gonna uh, break, them, break both of them down and uh, dismantle them. And then you're going to buy the level 30 from this, uh, from this NPC here. Now you can uh, buy the level 30 uh, gems from the shop and you can try to create some that have the higher percentage. But if you do that, it's going to take you a lot longer because these uh, level 30s... You'll see here take two of the uh, the mats. Well, the level 20s only take one of them. So if you make a level 20, which costs half as much, you can break the one, one of the ones that you have down. You can take one of these off and dismantle it. And it'll give you the mat that you need. And then you create another one and you get two mats and then you buy the level 30. So the level 30 gems actually are a lot faster to make uh, almost the same, actually the exact same amount of time as making the 20s because you're going to be making 20s again and you're just going to turn them into 30s. And then that's, then you're going to go up to level 40s and you're just going to keep creating these until you get all of these to level 40 gems and you just keep going to the level 50 gems and so on. But I'm going to show you real quick how to make these level uh, 40 epics. You're going to do the exact same thing as you did with the... Uh, the level 20 gems, but you're not going to need near as many of them. You're going to buy five of the level 40 blues. Let me see if that was enough. I might have bought two. I bought six. You really only need to buy five because what you, you already have one of them in your gear. And you'll just pull the one out of your gear. And it takes six of them to create it. But since I bought an extra one, I'm lagging at the moment. We'll just do it with that, and then you just polish it here, and it's going to turn into an epic. Then I'm just going to replace the blue and right here, and then I'll have one one closer to the next. So the next time I want to uh, create a uh, another HP gem, instead of buying five, I'm only going to buy four. I'm going to pull one out of my gear. That's going to give me two. And then I'm going to buy two more, and then I'm going to create a uh, epic gem. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you would like me to talk about, let me know, and I'll do an update on this video. I'll add to it. Uh, I believe that's pretty much covered everything. Anyways, I hope you guys got some useful information out of this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.